opportunities for offense. And so what your long-term strategy is inside the institution about cameras is something that I think a lot of us would like to hear more, and I'll send you a letter with some okay, questions. Because you. Epstein's hallway should have still been monitored by cameras, even if his guards were asleep, and we don't have information about whether or not there were adequate cameras there. And so I think a lot of us would like to understand where Absolutely. technology dollars are going. Absolutely. Thank you, Dr. Thank Smart. you, Senator. Uh, Senator Blumenthal is next, but just follow up on this. Uh, will there be an IG report of, regarding what happened? There should be. Usually after the Inspector General's office investigates, they do come out with a report. If people are pending criminal charges. We're not going to interfere in their cases. But if there's an IG report, I promise you we'll uh, get fully briefed by the committee here. How can I put this? Christmas ornaments, drywall, and Jerry Epstein. Name three things that don't hang themselves. It, that's what the American people think. That's what the American people think. And they deserve some answers. And I know that you're not in charge of these investigations. Yes, sir. But you talk to the people who are. And, and I need you to take a very respectful message today. Um, tell the American people what happened. And, and don't, don't rush it so that they don't do a thorough investigation. But you and I both know they can make this a, a top priority and get it done more quickly than they normally would. Thanks so much for being here. And thank you for your willingness to serve in a part of government that's not easy. Uh, in a part of government that's so essential uh, uh, for the safety of our country. Um, this is often a thankless task. Absolutely. Um, I want to talk to you in a uh, moment about the First Step Act and about its implementation, about what we can do to make sure that it's helping to make Americans safe. Um, I want to talk for a moment, though, about the Jeffrey Epstein case. Uh, there are a lot of indications. There are a lot of people who have expressed concern, concerns culminating in the phrase, Jeffrey Epstein didn't kill himself. Um, it was initially reported that he had died by suicide, but according to a whole lot of news reports, a private psychologist, uh, I'm sorry, a, a private pathologist who took a look at the case um, said that Mr. Epstein experienced a number of injuries that are, uh, as he put it, quote, extremely unusual in suicidal hangings and could occur much more commonly in homicidal strangulation. Are you familiar with that statement? I have seen that in the media, yes. According to news reports, security cameras that were in the hallway uh, watching Mr. Epstein's cell uh, just happened to malfunction the night uh, that his life ended. Uh, can you tell me how, how frequently do prison guards, uh, uh, do, do prison guarding security cameras malfunction like this, and, and what are the protocols to check on them and to make sure that that doesn't happen? Senator, we have we are very behind in terms of um, monies for uh, improvements throughout our institutions. You know, as I mentioned earlier in my opening statements, our institutions are very old, and and a lot of the systems are faulty. Just in the last year, we were able to come up with enough money to redo all the camera systems in all of our institutions. It's not completed quite yet, but we did get the funding to replace all of our camera systems. We upgraded them from uh, analog to digital, and we have a lot more cameras now in the institutions than there used to be because we used to have a lot of blind spots, but we just didn't have adequate cameras. Uh, MCC New York is one of those. It is, has, is on the, it, it is like partway through its whole camera uh, reinstallation. And so by this time next year, we should have all of our institutions should be completely upgraded in terms of cameras. Okay. So when they're faulty, they do break down sometimes, to right. answer your question. When they break down, you can't see it. And so if, if uh, given that the security cameras malfunctioned that night, how can we be sure that he did kill himself? Sometimes you can see some, and, and it's just the, 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 uh, the visibility on a, um, an old analog camera is grainy, and that's usually the problems that occur, is that you can see what's going on, it's just grainy, and it's harder to identify precisely what you're seeing on Could some of our old cameras. Some of what was going on in this case? I don't, I, I don't know about this case, because I was not allowed to see any of the cameras after it occurred, sir. Why is that? 
because the Inspector General and the FBI's office are the ones investigating, and we, have, we are not a allowed to touch anything. Once a situation occurs and the FBI and the Inspector General's office comes in, we are not allowed to talk to staff or have any interaction with what's going on in their investigation. Until after the OIG? Until, until it's finished, yes. We will yeah. know once the investigation. Do you have any idea how long that'll be? No, I, they, we keep hearing soon, soon, and I don't know how long soon is. Okay. Um, one of the concerns I have is that at the, it's my understanding that at the time of his death, he was uh, in a high security housing unit, one that was supposed to be checked every 30 minutes. And, and, and that from what I'm told, uh, it appears that hours went by, possibly three hours or so went by without anyone checking on him. Uh, would, if that is true, would that have represented a lapse of protocol? A lapse of a lot of things, Senator. Protocol, policy following, um, uh, lots of very negative things if staff are not doing their rounds and their, their cell checks as they're supposed to be doing. Yeah. Is there a correlation between deaths in these high security housing units and the failure to make timely checks on inmates uh, uh, according to um, Bureau of Prisons protocols? As I indicated earlier, um, the average deaths in a jail facility, like these, high, these higher security uh, pretrial facilities, the average in the country, in the jails across the country right now, is 50 per 100,000 inmates. We had two in a jail facility in the past year, two, which suggests in the vast majority of our institutions we are doing things correctly and are making our checks. Now in our special housing units and our other institutions, uh, we have had a couple of instances where when we went back and looked at the cameras after something untoward occurred, it was not always clear that the officers had done specifically what we were asking them to do by policy. And in each case when that occurs, we call in the Inspector General's office, we have an investigation done, and if it appears to be uh, 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 any type of criminal act occurring, uh, then we call in the, uh, the uh, U.S. Attorney's Office and the FBI, and we will, we, will, we will prosecute if people are not doing their jobs.